um, generals without mm. an army mm. uh, are, no, are, no, are, no, are, no, are no are no useful. Mm. So what we need as leaders is to have what you call a proper army behind us. Mm. And that army is made up of millions of supporters. Millions of supporters. Well, first, first of all, we have millions of executives down to the region, to the constituency mm. and to the, the branch level. Then of course you have our supporters. So we ask that they stand fully, fully, fully ready behind us mm -hmm. uh, and, they, and, they, and they keep their trust in us and we'll do everything possible to be in alignment with their desire. Mm -hmm. uh, for the larger public out there, I would say that uh, it's been very, very, very difficult six years and uh, we believe that we are in a position to do everything we can, I mean, to bring this nightmare to an end. Mm. You know, so I think really the period in which we are is the same. I mean, if not worse kind of darkness, mm. I mean, to think that for the first time in our history, this country is actually in a situation where we cannot afford to pay our debt. Mm. The first time in our history that we have defaulted debt, that tells you really how terrible our situation is. You know, it's not just the economic collapse. Mm. Actually, it's the leadership, the moral collapse. Mm. This, this uh, economic thing is just reflecting the total collapse on the, in, the, in the moral leadership of our country. And so there's a lot that's to be done. And we will remain humble, mm. and work hard, and, and, and continue to be inspired by the mm. need to make sure we bring this to an end. I mean, not surprised at all. I mean, uh, it's always been the case that any time I, I emerge into anywhere, mm. the first thing they do is to say that propagandists have emerged. When I, when I was uh, uh, chosen to become Deputy Minister for right. Finance, right. they said, okay, the Finance Ministry was a propagandist group. Uh, now I'm imagining as General Secretary, oh, the, the party executive must be full of propagandists. Oh. I think basically it's just a, it's just a show of desperation. Uh, I can understand their worry. Mm -hmm. uh, the real truth is that this is a group that is going to do everything possible to ensure that we shine light okay. over their darkness. All right. I mean, we let the country see increasingly, I mean, the kind of complete moral decadence that they represent, uh, the selfishness and the greed that they represent. Mm. I mean, the people who care only about themselves and not care about the country, the deception that has gone on, I mean, for all these years. I mean, the resources that have been put in their hand and what a mess they have made of the country. And the fact that they, they, even, they even lack the humility to accept that they have been the cause of the problem. And I've, I've sought over all these many months to continue deceiving the people that the real problem has been external. The problem has been either COVID or has been what's called Russia and Ukraine. I mean, that tells you the extent to which there is a complete collapse as far as leadership is concerned.